Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay, and I'm currently 24 weeks pregnant with a baby girl. Today's video is going to be a pregnancy update like I do every week, but before we begin, please hit that red subscribe button down below, and please hit that like button as well so that you can join my family. Please comment down below if you're a new subscriber. I will comment back to you. I love to meet my new subscribers, and I love to connect with you guys, but without further ado, let's get into the pregnancy update. So, like I said, I am 24 weeks pregnant, and baby is the size of a cauliflower. She's about one and a half pounds and a foot long, which is crazy. She is growing so quickly. Um, my app says that she it has her eyebrows and her she's starting to grow hair, but it is still white because she doesn't have much pigment in her body. But... 24 weeks is viability week which is super exciting if you don't know what viability week is it's pretty much when um if the baby was to be born early they have a higher likelihood of surviving she also ha is starting to her mind like brain activity is starting to increase and she's starting to develop thoughts and memories which is kind of cool i didn't know that babies like develop memories in the womb but according to my app they do which is kind of cool so that's pretty much it on her she's flipping and kicking like crazy uh, I had an appointment today and she her heart rate is at 148 which is normal and she is very active and just kicking away in there which is kind of exciting this last week, my mother-in-law got to feel her for, kick for the first time, which was super cool and special, but that's pretty much it on her. A few of my symptoms is that I have a swollen ankles and feet, and that could be from pregnancy. It also could be because we just got home from a trip on an airplane, and it also could be because I'm not drinking enough, I did not drink enough water on this trip or a combination of all three probably but when I got home today I had these little sandals that have laces up the front and the laces had left like an imprint on my foot because my foot had swollen so much so they definitely are swelling my app also says that I could be getting some stretch marks which like I've said in the past I am and that I could be getting back aches and the ligament pain, that's what it's called, I guess. I can't remember exactly the name, but the ligament pain. And yeah, I don't really have very many aversions. I was able to eat. Another update from my appointment is that I finally started to gain weight. It took me forever to start gaining weight just because I didn't have an appetite. And I didn't really, I had so many aversions that I didn't really want to eat. Um, and I lost 15 pounds in my first trimester about, so I finally started gaining weight. I've gained about four pounds, I believe. So that's super exciting. She's super, my doctor's super excited about me starting to gain weight, but I am, my fundal height is about 25 and a half weeks. So just about a half week early, well, a week, week a half week to a week early more along I guess I don't know but I am having lots and lots and lots of heartburn I anything I eat anything I drink it could be water it could be soda it could be anything and I get heartburn which Tums does usually temporarily fix it so I just have been keeping a bottle of Tums with me it, I did get a cold this last week, and it has been really hard to get over it since I'm not able to take the normal stuff that I would take. So how I've been treating it is using a neti pot, which if you are unaware, this is a neti pot. It, you put salt in it and then warm water, and you kind of drain out your sinuses, and it helps with congestion. I also used a throat spray that my doctor said was safe and she also told me to take Tylenol. That's pretty much it uh, that I've been taking. It's, it's been a week and a half since I started getting sick and I still have a slight cough just because I have post nasal drip, um, which causes sore throats and coughs. 
but I woke Cody up a few nights the last week coughing and I guess heartburn makes that worse so I had to take Tums and suck on cough drops all night because I could not control myself and I couldn't breathe because I was coughing so much which kind of sucked so if you're pregnant try not to get sick because it takes forever to get better but yeah we had a really really fun trip anyway my hair is still falling out like crazy which kind of sucks um, it has slowed down a little bit which is nice but it still is falling out at a rapid pace and I am really itchy everywhere all over my body I'm itchy from I'm assuming my skin stretching it's mostly like my abdomen and my chest area I get itchy but I have been trying to moisturize my tummy. I just use my Cetaphil face moisturizer on my belly as well um, because that's safe for pregnancy according to my doctor. But I don't have very many other symptoms. I mean, I we went on a hike while we were on our family reunion and it was super hard to, it was a pretty flat hike. It was not like a major hike and I had a hard time just with like cramping and um, like Braxton Hicks. But like I said in the beginning, I was not drinking enough water. So that could have contributed to it as well. But I definitely had a hard time on the hike. But it just, she's getting so heavy. And I know she's just gonna get heavier, but I have never had a two pound melon strapped to my stomach. So it's just hard getting used to and yeah, pretty much nothing else has really changed, which is kind of nice, but we are just learning as we go, because what else can you do? I, when I was sick, I couldn't, I was getting really dizzy too, and I couldn't sleep, which kind of sucked, but now I'm over that, and I'm doing much better, so that's nice, but let me show you my tummy, and then I will wrap this video up. So a lot of people in my life have been commenting about how small my tummy is and I actually asked her, my doctor, about it today when we, when I was in there and she said that I'm measuring on time, like I said in the beginning, a little bit ahead actually, which is kind of cool, but it's just because I have a long torso, it's not just going to pop right out. I have a longer torso than some women so my tummy the baby has more room to grow up so it's not going to poke out as quickly which i was kind of glad to hear that it was normal and i was measuring on time and actually ahead of time but we scheduled our 3d ultrasound today it's in a couple weeks for when i'm like 28 weeks which is super exciting i am very excited to see what she looks like more in depth but I still stand by, I think that she looks like her dad. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're pregnant, please comment down below how many weeks pregnant you are and we should become friends. But hit that red subscribe button down below if you would like to join my family and like this video if you enjoyed. It will be attached to a pregnancy update playlist. So if you are pregnant and you're not 24 weeks yet, if you're behind me, Go watch all the videos up until this video so that you can know exactly what to expect when you are at a different point in your pregnancy, a different milestone. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video. See ya.